everyone, it's Paula. I'm back today with a baby introduction video. Um, they are actually four weeks old today. I have been trying to record this video since yesterday morning. Um, I attempted to record it while holding them, which is probably a bad idea because they started crying. Even Jude started crying. So they're four weeks old today, and I'm sorry it took me so long to put up the video, but it's been a little hectic. It's Twins is definitely not like having one. Not that having one is easy because I remember being extremely tired when I had Jude. Um, but this is very different. They get hungry at the same time, but they're not breastfeeding. Not both of them at least. So I have to feed them separately. Um, so and I've had help until now. Um, actually Hansel's mom is coming this week uh, she gets here around 11 11 30 um, to help but then I think next week I'm by myself so next week I'll try to do like a maybe not next week maybe that's too eager <laughs> I'll try to do a day in the life or you know something like that where you can see because right now it's easy because people are helping me the twins were born on August 12th. Um, their names are Lennon and London. Lennon is the boy. London is the girl. Um, in case you didn't know, we, not we, but at least I am, a huge Beatles fan. Uh, my dad actually named me after Paul McCartney. And I named Jude after my favorite Beatles song, Hey Jude. And, you know, and then I named Lennon after my favorite Beatle. And I actually tried to name London Penny, but that didn't go over well. So then I went with London, even though it's not Beatles, but they're from London. So I figured, there you go. Um, so yeah, so Lennon and London. Um, so they were born on August 12th via C-section. Uh, Lennon was breech which is why they scheduled my c-section he had been breached for six weeks or so with no change he had been he was staying that way he wasn't gonna flip so um, so I had a c-section so he was born at two o'clock uh, and he weighed six pounds five ounces and measured 19 and a quarter inches long and London was born at 201 so they're actually one minute apart um, and she weighed six pounds, two ounces and measured 19 inches. Um, we were supposed to be discharged on August 16th. Uh, but unfortunately Lennon was dehydrated. So they had to put him in NICU. And while he was there, he had three within, it was like within three hours of being in NICU. He had three episodes where he stopped breathing. Um, something that I didn't notice while he was in the room with me. Um, so it's called a desaturation in oxygen. Um, oxygen levels for babies, and I don't know about, it's probably for everybody, is above 90. Um, and he had dropped once under 70, once under 50, and once under 30. So basically he stopped breathing. He would bring himself back out of it, um, but they wanted to monitor him because... You know they wanted to know what was going on so they did a whole bunch of tests they did like a brain ultrasound they did a like a, a camera where they put it in through the nose to see how the I don't even know what that's called um, to see if he had any like blockage or anything uh, they also checked his jaw because he actually has like it looks like he has like an overbite kind of so his chin is like kind of recessed a little bit in um, I mean you have to look at him like on the side. His mouth is definitely shaped different than London's. Um, so they thought maybe like he had like a short tongue or something and it was like falling back and blocking the airway. Um, but all those things came back negative. So what ended up happening was it's basically a developmental thing. They were born at 37 weeks, which is late preterm. And he's a boy, which boys tend to do um, worse than girls, um, and, and yeah, so they monitored him for 10 days, 
Um, and he actually hasn't had an episode since the Thursday before we were discharged. Um, they didn't discharge us with any type of monitor or anything. We just have to keep an eye on him and see if anything happens. Nothing has happened, thank God. Um, and yeah, so we're home. Uh, we were actually... We stayed at the hospital for the 10 days. Like, not as a patient, obviously. We stayed with London in a room. We paid $85 a night to stay in a room with London um, where I could still go every three hours to feed Lennon. Um, and I wouldn't have been able to do that if it wasn't for the fact that my friend Sarah uh, created a GoFundMe account and sent it out and so many people donated that we were able to pay the $85 a night for the 10 days and there was even there was more than the than the money that we needed for those 10 days which I'm sure will go towards NICU <laughs> payments because that bill should be interesting 10 days in NICU I am assuming is not cheap um, so uh, we were really appreciative of everybody who donated and we were really shocked. I never thought that so many people would donate to that account. So uh, we really appreciate that. Yeah, so he was there for 10 days. I went in to feed him every three hours around the clock. Uh, he was actually doing a lot better breastfeeding than bottle feeding. Um, he did have one episode while I was bottle feeding him where he stopped breathing. And I'll tell you something, when the doctor told me about the desaturation in oxygen, I knew that it was that he had stopped breathing. But hearing it and seeing it are two completely different things. Um, when I was feeding him, he kind of went limp and his face turned blue, his lips were purple. Um, I started screaming and they were like, oh, just rub him vigorously. And I was like, I don't know what that means. Um, so it was... It was really scary. I actually didn't go back for the next two feedings after that because I just, I was traumatized. I couldn't believe that that happened like in my hands. Even Hansel was scared to go afterwards because he didn't want it to happen to him. So it had been, it was really rough. That was only actually the only time it happened to me. And then a couple days later it happened again but overnight while, while he was, you know, between feedings. Um, so that's why they ended up keeping him an additional three days and we didn't get discharged until the 10th day. Um, let's see. So we were discharged on Monday, August 24th. And uh, we actually came home. So we weren't home for 13 days until 13 days after the twins were born so we were living at the hospital essentially uh london was still sleeping in the hospital bassinet uh we did take um i had my mom bring her rock in place so i could put her in something different um while we were at the hospital because i felt so bad that she was you know she could have been home but i didn't feel comfortable sending hansel home with her and me being at the hospital. The point of the hospital stay was so I should I could be with both of them every day. Um, I was feeding her, I was feeding him. So feedings. Um, they eat about every three hours. Um, Lennon latches. London latches now that we went to go see a lactation consultant but they both still aren't um, swallowing consistently. So I still have to supplement especially with um, Lennon because he had the weight loss issue and the dehydration so we don't want to fall into something like that again. We're gonna keep trying. Um, I'm pumping every two to three hours around the clock. Uh, right now this morning was actually the first time I got more than three ounces. I got five ounces this morning um, around 7 a.m. Uh, so I was pretty excited about that because uh, I really don't have, at least pumping, uh, I know that breastfeeding is different than pumping, uh, but pumping I'm not making enough to feed both of them. Uh, so I actually am supplementing with both formula and breast milk, 
Um, I just, um, Lennon has been on Amphamil Gentilis. Uh, in NICU he was drinking Similac Spit Up, but he hasn't needed that. He hasn't been spitting up, so we switched him to Gentilis because um, Similac Spit Up has rice cereal in it. So we went back to Gentilis and he's been fine on it. Uh, London is having some kind of dairy, I'm thinking it's dairy, um, issue. Sure. She, if you formula feed her especially, um, then we've tried three different formulas. Um, for an hour after she drinks the formula, she is screaming, she's really uncomfortable, her stomach is distended. Um, so I actually went and got um, Similac Alimentum yesterday, which smells horrible but um she's done the last four feedings with it and it seems to be working so i guess i'll have to deal with the horrible smell until i'm making enough breast milk to feed both of them so at their two-week checkup on august 31st uh we took them both and lennon who weighed six pounds five ounces at birth was weighing six pounds ten ounces and he actually um grew three quarters of an inch. He's now 20 inches long and he was born 19 and a quarter. London, who was weighing six pounds, two ounces at birth, is now six pounds, seven ounces and she grew half inch. So she's 19 and a half inches long. Um, I will do the one month update, but I'm not going to do it until after their visit. Their visit's on September 15th. Um, and then I'll do their one month update. Um, so that's about it for now. I don't know if I'm going to do a birth story uh, video only because it was a scheduled C-section. I do have some clips, so maybe maybe I'll put something together. Um, not of the actual C-section because they don't let you film in the operating room. Um, but I do have um, like some clips from after they were born that Hansel had recorded. Um, our way, um, the video when we were on our way to the hospital, that kind of stuff. So I do have some stuff to put up. I'm also going to do a newborn essentials, uh, video, uh, what I felt was essential in their first month. Uh, I have quite a few things. I'd like to hear from you guys what kind of videos you want to see. Um, I'd like to transition to daily vlogs at some point. I can't see that happening right now because we aren't really sleeping uh, and when we do it's in like two hour increments you know just by the time you're done feeding them both um, and burping them and changing them and all that stuff an hour has passed since you started the feeding and you put them down and then they're awake at the third hour to eat again uh, so they're eating every three hours. Lennon does have a heart murmur, so he has an appointment to see uh, the cardiologist in October, so when he's three months old. He actually he also has to have a hip ultrasound since he was breech, uh, just to make sure that, that his hips are okay. And But that's about it. And London just has her regular doctor visits. Oh, so I took a picture two weeks after I had them, you know, like, like I was doing my belly shots, and I'll actually add that picture here. Um, it's a picture of me at 37 weeks and the picture at two weeks postpartum. So I'll add that picture right here. Let me show you a clip of the babies before I close out this video because I know most of you really want to see the babies, not me. <laughs> um, uh, so here are the babies. So here's Lennon sleeping. And here's little London. They're about to wake up soon to eat. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my update.